I know how to rap and make my words bounce. Ain't nobody never heard like the type of sound I got. Hey, what's up? It's your girl Glorilla, aka Big Glow, and this is Growing Up Memphis. I grew up in Memphis, Tennessee, um, the west side of Frazier. Yeah, the project. Not the projects, but the ghetto. It was a lot of bandos. You know you in the hood when you see a lot of stray dogs. <laughs> I came from a family of 10 kids, four girls, six boys. You know, I wouldn't say we was like super, super, super struggling, but we struggled though. Cause just out the fact, it's so many mouths to feed. I'm number eight of the 10 kids. My brothers and sisters support me. They're proud of me. They had faith in me. When I was younger, I used to go to church singing the choir. So my mama always thought I was gonna be a gospel singer when I grew up. And when I actually had started rapping, they used to be like, you should be talking crazy, but you can rap. Gospel and hood rapping influenced my rap today. Like I grew up on both of them. And so like in my rap, I like really do hood gospel. <laughs> I be speaking to the people, I be preaching. Growing up in Memphis, as a child, I was quiet. I was really antisocial. I didn't know how to really talk to people, but my brothers and sisters and stuff. When I started going to school, it was different. Like, they just was different. They didn't act like us. And so I adapted to my environment. And so I went from quiet, quiet little Gloria. Then I just got to, I used to kind of go ham in school. Like, I was a class clown. I used to get into fights. <laughs> oh, my middle school era would be Rich Homie Coin. You know all the little dances that was coming out? Like, you know them little dances that was coming out around that time? Every time we had a dance in school, I was on the floor hitting all of them. Somebody they'll be surprised that I listened to was Anita Baker. And then I just realized Anita Baker got a deep voice too. Yeah, I like this. I think I had automatically got the Minky sound, you know, and I just realized it starting from the roots of 3-6 Mafia. My voice most definitely stand out with the sound because it's already hardcore. Then I got the hardcore voice. Then like I got that flow, like the type of flow I do is like a bounce. Like I chop every word up and like make it bounce. I know how to rap and make my words bounce. <laughs> that day of the FNL video, I originally had another verse to FNL. And I had to change it because I had said like a lot of cursing words. So I had switched up a couple words. His kid had called me. I was asleep. It was like 10 in the morning. He was like, come change the verse because we're going to try to put it on the radio. I rewrote the verse on the way to the studio, recorded it. After I got done recording, he was like, okay, um, we're going to shoot the video. I said, what? <laughs> so he was like, um, call your folks. And so I'm calling everybody. Nobody got their hair done, it's people at work. I'm just texting everybody, people busy. They like such a short notice. But um, the ones that end up coming came, them the ones that really support me, my day ones. Shout out the gang. They pulled up, they ain't care about their hair. They like, we gotta be in this video. Some people get mad because we actually pulled our cars around the whole stoplight and just stopped all the traffic and was got out just dancing. But then that video went viral and then that led up to drop the video the next day. And when the video went viral, they were like, ah, oh, this who that was out there shooting the video, stopping all the traffic and shit. My friends, yeah, they do love music. They love my music. Like, they've been loving my music since day one. I feel like super blessed to have them. At all my old shows, all my friends, I call them, I need somebody to come to my shows with me. They were pulling up, you know what I'm saying? When I ain't have all the fame that I got when I was just known in Memphis, like, oh, what? We pulling up. And so like, I'm like, okay, they were pulling up back then when I really won as big as I am now, so they gonna be with me today. They like my type of music because we come from the same background. We all hood and gangster ratchet, all this shit. So they be feeling like I write my songs for them. I feel like my sound gonna expand because it's different, it's new. You know what I'm saying? It's refreshing. Ain't nobody never heard the type of sound I got, like especially coming from a female. And then like the things I rap about is we, uh, I most definitely blew up off social media. The last couple years, they would go viral and they would get me known. You gotta have the whole package when it comes to social media. As far as look, style, how you dress, especially with women, like, with males, they don't care that much long as he can rap. And you know, probably put a flash of little money or something, it's easy. But females, they want you to have a certain body. They want you to have a certain hairstyle, dress a certain way. Right now, women, we, we breaking through. They can't stop us. We done had the women before us. 
kick the door down. It's like we just coming through the door full force. And we standing on it. We ain't laying back up. So I'm very excited about this era in music where women dominate. At the end of the day, it's about what you want, you know? If you feel like people not listening to you like you want them to, you gotta make them listen to you. It's all about what you do and how far you think you can go and if you think you can top the charts. I see myself being a billionaire, being a big inspiration to the music industry, creating a new wave or a new lane. My parents, they like just super proud of me. They call me every day, they blow my phone up. Every day I be busy though, so I can't answer the phone half the time, but they just be calling me every day to say the same thing. I'm so proud of you. Coming from the Rex to Richie story, coming from the ghetto, it affected me like it just made me want to push harder because I never wanted to go back there. It's different when you grow up having me and when you didn't grow up having me because you used to it, but I ain't, you know, we ain't used to it. We ain't used to it. So we want to keep it as long as we can or as much as we can get if it's just somewhere we don't want to go back. We all trying to make it out. And so I feel like you get more, you thrive more once you know that you came from nothing. Anyways, life's great. EP, I was just trying to give them like different perspectives of me and how I think, like on certain, on different subjects, you know, pain, then turn, you know, just different point of views of me as an artist. I am big glow. <laughs> and I'm just here to stay. Thanks for listening to my story. Catch you later, Billboard.